In this video, I'm showing you the best voice changer for PC. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit the subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well. So I hope you did find this video useful as I'm showing you the full process of installing this voice changer and then setting it up so it's fully working. So without any further ado, let's go and get into this. So let's go and continue with this tutorial. Now the first thing you need to do is simply go and open up your search browser. I'm going to open up this and I'm on Google. Now what you want to do is simply search for a program called Clownfish. Now basically do not click off now as I'm showing you the full process of installing it and then setting up as there are a few extra settings you're going to need to know. So as you can see it's literally Clownfish voice changer. Click there and then what you want to do is click on the top link here. The domain is clownfish-translator. So click here and here we are. Now what you want to do is come to this top bar and you can read some information but come to the top bar and click download and then it's going to take you to the download options now we've got a ton of options here I recommend you simply go for this one here 64 bit but you may be on 32 bit so go for that one so I'm going to go and click on here and now it's going to go and start downloading as you can see and it's honestly quite a small program which is really good so it doesn't take too long to download at all then all you want to do is go and click on it and you're going to get a Windows security pop-up which my computer doesn't allow me to record. Then you're going to get the installation wizard so I'm going to go and click next and then you can get these options here so I'm going to personally um, turn the desktop shortcut off as I don't need it and uh, I'll keep the start menu on but that's up to you. As you can see it's only 2.3 megabytes required so it's absolutely tiny. Then go and click next again and you can go and choose where you want to install it and then click next again. Now it's gone in the stool just like so and that's literally it. As you can see it's doing its own thing and then you want to go and click install and just like that it will finish. Now there's going to be a few sort of pop-ups of terminal. That's absolutely fine. It looks like this sort of code. That's normal guys and your audio system will restart. Anyways then we can go and continue with this so click next again and as you can see it's finished. So then click finish again. Now we can come off Chrome and we can now go and check this out. So all you want to do is come down to your search icon down here and go and simply search for Clownfish. As you can see, Clownfish Voice Changer um, is an app. So click there and then it's going to go and open it up. Now at the minute, nothing has happened. So all you want to do is actually come to the right of your computer. I'll move my recorder over. And as you can see, we've now got this Clownfish logo here. All you need to click on this arrow here and it's going to show it. Then find the Clownfish logo, right click on it. And then all you want to do is simply go on to setup and make sure you come on system integration. As you can see, it shows which mics you're currently using. So I've currently got uh, this microphone installed here, the USB PMP sound device. But you can go and choose any of these simply by clicking install. But I've now finished with that. So I'm going to click close and then I'm going to go and continue. Then I'm going to come back to Clownfish again and right click on it. And then you want to come up to set voice changer. And then you're going to go and get this window here. Now as you can see we get a ton of options here and you can go and choose it. So if I double click on here, helium. my voice is now going to be helium, is that awesome? And then to go remove the effect, click click. Perfect, and my voice is going to be back to normal. And you can test it out with all of these as well, honestly guys, it's so simple. And once you go and select an effect, your voice is then going to sound like this on your computer as you heard it in my screen recorder. And it's going to be like that when you're on say um, Discord or on Skype, your voice is then going to be edited. So honestly guys, it's so easy to use and it's one of the best voice changes for computers in my opinion. And it's free of course. So yeah, if you found this video useful, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.